Hi, this is Sarah Mikesell with the Cattle Site, and today we're here with Ken Anderson. He is the Director of Technical Services with Beef Genetics. Thanks for being with us today, Ken. Well, thanks, Sarah. A pleasure to talk to you. Very good. We're here at NCBA in Houston. It's nice to be back. I guess Cattle has been back, but a lot of the other shows are just starting to come back in person. Tell me a little bit about Lockyard. Sarah, we're really excited about Blockyard because we think it really creates a conduit for the different segments of the beef industry to share information. Right. Historically, a lot of that information has been locked in silos as you go from one segment right. to the next. And Blockyard creates a very secure and permissioned way where the segments might connect, share information. Very good. And, and tell me, I know you, you, you work with the genetic side. How is this connected to the genetics business then? So a genetic portion of Blockyard is optional, but right. a cow-calf producer might enroll animals in a genetic testing program after they're entered into Blockyard. And then they could order predictions, such as the inherent select predictions we have that enable poor informed replacement effort selection. And they could also test um, calf crops, whereby potential buyers of groups of feeder cattle could then access genetic predictions for feedlot and carcass traits. Again, to help share information and unlock the value of the animals. So it really, it, it truly works across the whole value chain. It really does. And beyond the feeder, it even goes to the packer, the right. retailer, and others in that a meat sample could be genotyped and matched to the animal that was previously tested to authenticate all kinds of things and help tell the story right. along the whole supply chain. It seems like this has, you know, kind of that whole, helps with the whole transparency, right, in the industry of helping to tell that story of where food comes from. Absolutely. We know consumers want to know more right. about where it comes from and how it was raised and managed and right. various steps along the way. And they also are sensitive to various product and label claims. And so this would also help create a digital clone or record of the animal and everything that happened to it and what we know about it all along its pathway through that supply chain. Very good, very good. So when it, when it comes to uh, investing in something like this, it is, uh, what's, what's the bottom line for producers? What do they need to know? Well, the bottom line for producers is they can get more information at welcome blockyard.com and so that'll give them some more insights but um, establishing an account and um, a bit initial uploading of animal information uh, can be achieved by the instructions there in that site. Very good. So you can just kind of take off or, or uh, work with your uh, Zoetis person, right? By all means. There's um, help that's available. Just um, contact the um, uh, Either the team, right? the team in, in Zoetis, sure. yes. Sure, because I know sometimes data sharing can be scary for people, right? There, there's a little bit of trepidation, but this sounds like it's a highly secure system. Absolutely, and that's where the blockchain technology right. behind the scenes comes to play. So it's very secure and permission um, across each of those segments. Very good. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for all the information today, Ken. Thank you, sir. It's nice to talk to you. Thanks. This is Sarah Mikesell with the Cattle Site.